Welcome to The Bite, my name is Jackie. Today I'm bringing to you a delicious Baja fish taco recipe. I'm from San Diego, as many of you know, especially if you follow me on Instagram. And one of my favorite tacos of all time is the Baja style fish taco, especially from Oscars um, in San Diego. If you're familiar with them, you know how delicious they are. We were supposed to go to San Diego earlier this month, but because of the quarantine and you know social distancing, we were not able to go. So I had to bring Oscar's Mexican seafood to us. So I recreated my own version of their recipe. And this is just like a very Baja California staple that I love. So it's really simple. Uh, let me show you what you're gonna need. So I'm using codfish. Um, I prefer codfish, but halibut and mahi-mahi are both common to use. Halibut is a little bit pricier. I just think codfish works the best for the pocket and for the taste and texture. For the batter, I have flour, baking powder, a little cumin, a little paprika, salt and pepper. I have one egg and traditionally what we use or what they use is a Mexican beer. You can use any beer you want. Um, I prefer those Equis because that's what I like to drink. So you wanna make sure it's a light beer, not an amber beer, because those are more bitter. If you don't want to use beer, you can use um, sparkling water or regular water even. Um, but just make sure the sparkling water is not flavored. So you don't want that. So first thing we're gonna do is start off by making the batter and letting it sit. So I just pulled this out of the fridge. When you are measuring your beer, you want to make sure that it's not foamy. So you want to pour it very slowly so that you're getting an even measurement. And all the measurements, like always, are on my blog, so you can find it there in the description box below. So pouring it slowly, you can still see there's a little foam. Okay, um, actually, before I pour this in, I want to give all the dry ingredients a little stir, and now pouring in the beer. And see how it foams up right away? I love it. So then you can crack your egg directly in here, and that just kind of gives the batter a little bit extra fluffiness. And then you just want to mix it up. So this is what you want your batter to look like, kind of similar to a pancake batter. If it doesn't look like this and it's too thick, go ahead and add a little bit more beer or whatever liquid that you're using, and just make sure that it's not super foamy when you pour it in. Um, so yeah, this is what works best for me. So I am going to just salt and pepper my fish real quick on both sides, just lightly, because this already has some salt and pepper in the batter. And then all the condiments we are gonna put on it are going to be seasoned as well. Okay. So this is seasoned, the batter is ready. I'm gonna set this aside just to let it sit for a bit. Um, I just find that it works a little bit better that way. And then before we fry them, we're gonna start chopping up all the cabbage, make our pico de gallo, make our chipotle salsa. So let me walk you through that right now. Okay, our cabbage is chopped, our pico de gallo is ready. I actually have a video on pico de gallo, but I just gave you a little quick run through right now. Um, so now what we're gonna make is the crema and also chipotle crema. So I have the chipotle crema on my pollo asada video, and it's basically just chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. You can find these in a can in the Mexican or the international aisle of your grocery store. Just the regular grocery stores carry these. Um, and it's basically uh, like smoked jalapenos, so they're spicy, and they come in a sauce with onions and um, the peppers themselves, and it gives the sauce, or whatever you put it in, a really nice smoky flavor. So I really like using it in dishes like these. To make the crema, all you need are a few ingredients. So if you have sour cream, you can use that. 
I always have uh, Greek yogurt in the house or regular yogurt. So that's what I'm gonna use and it's a really pretty much the same thing. So I mix that with mayo and as odd as that sounds, that's common for a taco like this. Normally I don't like mayo, but you just, you gotta have it for this. This sauce is necessary for a Baja fish taco. So equal parts of both and then just give it a mix. Once they're combined, I like to add some fresh lemon ju lime juice or lemon juice. Lime is just more common. So add that right in with a little bit of salt and give it another toss. Typically, this sauce is a little bit thinner in consistency. So after I add the lime juice and I see what it looks like, I do add a little bit of water. So probably about a tablespoon or so at a time, just until I get the consistency that I like. Okay, so this is looking good. This is a consistency that I like. You can see that it's much thinner. If you can find Mexican crema at your grocery store, you can totally use that as well. And then just add the chipotle peppers as you like. Um, so what I do now is I add half of it into another bowl because one is going to be the regular crema and one of them is going to be the chipotle crema. So that way it kind of alleviates one step. <laughs> I've already made the base, now I'm just gonna add the spice. So I take one chipotle pepper, you can add as many as you want, just remember that the seeds are all still in. This is a whole uh, jalapeno that's been smoked. So the, the seeds, everything is still in here. Everything that makes it spicy is still in here. So I'm going to give this a rough chop. In my pollo asada video, I did this in a mini food processor. You can do that and it actually may make it less spicy because this way there's probably a little bit bigger chunks. So if you want it a little bit more finely chopped, then stick it in your food processor. Okay, that looks good. I'm just going to add that all right in here. I'm gonna grab a spoon for this, but I'm gonna also go wash my hands real quick. Okay, everything is ready. Our sauces are good to go. And look at how beautiful this chipotle crema turned out. It's got this pink note to it. It's got a nice amount of spice. And like I said, you can see those chunks, but if you don't want those in there, just use your food processor and they'll pulverize those right up. So I'm gonna set these aside and we can start frying our fish. So I have my working station ready. Heating up my oil, you want it to be around 325 so that way it cooks on the outside and gets golden and the fish cooks on the inside. It's very important that the oil is at the right temperature. And you can always test it um, by adding a little bit of the batter or even like a little bit of the cabbage that you've chopped up into it to see if bubbles form around it and then you should be good. I got my batter and my fish ready to go so I'm just gonna start frying. So I'm gonna take my fish and just dip it into the batter. You wanna drain off any excess as best as possible and then directly into the hot oil it goes. So I'm going to do um, two, maybe three at a time. You don't wanna overcrowd it, otherwise they will get soggy and not crispy and it will lower the temperature of the oil, which won't be good. So continue doing this in batches until you're all done. Look at these golden brown beauties ready to be made into tacos. I can't wait. So let me show you how I like to assemble the tacos. Um, I start with a little bit of the chipotle crema at the bottom. And then I take some, I have a little bit of both cabbages because that's what I had in my fridge, but you can use one or the other, it doesn't matter. And then I add a little bit of it at the bottom. Then I have to very, delicately choose which fish I want. I think I want these two. Is that too much? No, never too much. Then I add more of the cabbage. Okay, then from there, I add a little bit of the Mexican crema on top, just like so. Then some of this fresh pico de gallo. Mm, okay. And then I usually like to um, put red salsa, but for some reason, when it comes to fish tacos, I like the, the green salsa, salsa verde. So I actually have this green dragon hot sauce from Trader Joe's, and I really like it on these tacos, so I'm just gonna put a little drizzle of it right on top, and boom! 
Look at that. Oh, looks so good. Looks so good. I honestly like extra of the cabbage on my tacos just because I like the crunch. And this is a corn tortilla, by the way. You can use flour if you want. I'm corn all the way. Okay. I forgot a very important thing. Very important. Squeeze of lime juice. It's a must. Mm -hmm. It feels like I'm in San Diego. Oh my goodness. These are the bomb. That lime juice, you can't do without it. It's just, you have to, you just have to. I hope you guys make this, especially for Cinco de Mayo coming up next week. You guys are going to love it. When you make this, don't forget to send me a picture on Instagram and tag me so that I can share it because I love seeing your recreations on your page. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time on the bike.